Have you ever wondered about the possibility of an advanced race of humanoid reptiles secretly controlling our world? That's right, we're diving into the mystery of reptiloids, a conspiracy theory that has captured the imaginations of many and sparked heated debates across the globe. As far-fetched as it may sound, the concept of reptiloids, also interchangeably referred to as reptilians or lizard people, has been around for quite some time. This theory suggests that an advanced species of reptilian humanoids has been secretly manipulating human societies since the dawn of civilization. Their purported goal? To maintain their dominance and control over the human race. But where did this idea originate? The concept of reptiloids isn't a recent invention. In fact, it dates back to ancient civilizations, where reptilian entities were often depicted as gods or powerful beings in folklore and myth. From the serpent in the Garden of Eden to the dragon deities of Chinese mythology, reptilian figures have been a recurring theme in human history. Fast forward to the modern era, and this theory has evolved into a complex web of beliefs. Some proponents of the reptiloid theory argue that these beings are not from our world but are extraterrestrial in origin. Others suggest that they are the descendants of the dinosaurs, having survived the mass extinction event by seeking refuge underground. The prevalence of the reptiloid theory in pop culture has also played a significant role in its perpetuation. From science fiction novels to blockbuster movies, reptilian humanoid characters have become a staple, further fueling the intrigue surrounding this theory. The various names used for these alleged beings – reptiloids, reptilians, lizard people – may differ, but the central premise remains the same – a secretive, highly advanced race of reptilian humanoids exerting control over humanity, operating from the shadows. A fascinating idea, isn't it? But where did it all begin? Join us as we delve deeper into the origins and evolution of the reptiloid theory in the next part of our series. The seed of this alluring theory was sown in the mind of a British conspiracy theorist. Enter David Icke, the man who would become the face and voice of the reptiloid theory to the world. A former professional footballer turned broadcaster, Icky's life took a dramatic turn in the late 80s when he experienced what he described as a spiritual awakening. This led him down a path of conspiracy theories that would eventually result in the birth of the reptiloid theory. Icky's theory, as far-fetched as it may sound, claims that a race of reptilian humanoids or reptiloids have been controlling the earth for thousands of years. These beings, he asserts, are shapeshifters, able to take on human form and hide in plain sight. In his books, Ica spins elaborate narratives, suggesting that these reptiloids occupy the highest echelons of power, influencing world events to maintain their control. He goes even further, stating that many of the world's leaders, from politicians to royalty, are in fact these reptilian entities in disguise. The Queen of England, the Bush family, and the Clintons are just a few of the alleged reptiloid infiltrators named by Icky. But Ica's claims have not gone without scrutiny. Many have dismissed his theories as pure fantasy, the product of an overactive imagination. Critics argue that his ideas are not only baseless but can be harmful, fostering distrust and paranoia. Even among conspiracy theorists, Icky's reptiloid theory has been met with skepticism. Despite this, his ideas have found a surprisingly large following. His books have sold millions of copies worldwide, and his lectures continue to draw large crowds. This popularity suggests that, for some, the idea of a hidden, powerful force controlling world events is not just plausible, but appealing. So how did this theory take root, and why has it persisted? That's a question with a complex answer, one that involves human psychology, societal distrust, and the power of compelling storytelling. With such shocking claims, it is no wonder that this theory spread like wildfire. From whispered rumors to mainstream discussions, the reptiloid theory began to permeate our culture. The theory, once the fodder of late-night talk radio and fringe internet forums, has seen a dramatic shift in visibility. As with any captivating narrative, the reptiloid theory found its way into our popular media. Hollywood, ever the opportunistic beast, seized upon this intrigue, weaving tales of scaly, shape-shifting beings into its cinematic tapestry. Blockbusters and B-movies alike began to flirt with the concept, providing a visual representation of the reptiloid theory for the masses to consume. Turning the pages of our literary world, we find the reptiloid theory etched into the ink. Novels, comic books, and graphic novels have all played host to these reptilian characters, further entrenching the theory into our collective consciousness. From pulp fiction to highbrow literature, 
authors have explored the concept, each adding their own unique twist to the reptiloid narrative. And let's not forget the small screen. Television shows, both fictional and factual, have dipped their toes into the reptiloid waters. From subtle references in sitcoms to full-blown plotlines in sci-fi series, the reptiloid theory has found a home in our living rooms. But the spread of the reptiloid theory didn't stop at our entertainment outlets. It also found fertile ground in the fertile soil of other conspiracy theories. From alien abductions to secret societies, the reptiloid theory has become a staple ingredient in the conspiracy theory stew. Its malleability and inherent intrigue have made it a go-to for those looking to add an extra layer of mystery to their theories. The spread of the reptiloid theory is a testament to the power of storytelling and the human fascination with the unknown. It has crawled its way from the shadows of obscurity into the glaring lights of mainstream culture. But as it basks in this newfound attention, one question remains. But what does science have to say about all this? In the face of such extraordinary claims, we turn to science for answers. Science, our beacon of truth and knowledge, casts a skeptical eye on the reptiloid theory. It seeks tangible proof, empirical evidence, something that the reptiloid theory thus far has been unable to provide. Consider this. If reptiloids were indeed real, where is the evidence of their existence? Shouldn't we have found fossils, remnants, or some traces of their advanced civilization? Yet, despite extensive scientific exploration and archaeological digs, not a single shred of proof has been unearthed to substantiate the existence of reptiloids. Furthermore, the evolutionary process needed for reptiles to evolve into intelligent humanoid beings in secret is beyond implausible. Evolution is a slow, gradual process that operates over millions of years in plain sight. The idea that such a sophisticated species could evolve undetected, while leaving no trace in the fossil record, is a hard pill for science to swallow. But what about the psychological reasons behind the belief in reptiloids? It's fascinating how our minds work. Humans have a natural tendency to seek patterns, make connections, and find meaning, even where there is none. This phenomenon, known as apophenia, could explain why some people are drawn to conspiracy theories like the reptiloid theory. Moreover, the reptiloid theory serves as a perfect scapegoat for our problems. Blaming an unseen, powerful entity for the world's issues absolves us of responsibility. It's easier to point fingers at a hidden reptilian elite than to confront the complex, intertwined socio-political issues we face. Finally, the allure of secret knowledge, the thrill of being privy to information hidden from the masses, can be intoxicating. It gives believers a sense of superiority, of being woke, further fueling the belief in such theories. Yet despite the lack of evidence, the belief in reptiloids persists. The human mind is a complex labyrinth, and sometimes, the allure of the unknown, the forbidden, is too strong to resist. In the absence of evidence, why does the belief in reptiloids continue to exist? This question might seem puzzling to some, but the answer lies within the complex labyrinth of human psychology. Conspiracy theories like that of reptiloids can act as a balm for the human mind, providing a sense of control in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. When we can pinpoint a cause, even a fantastical one like a secret race of reptilian overlords, it gives us the illusion of understanding. We feel less adrift in the sea of uncertainty that is our existence. Moreover, these theories cater to our innate curiosity. As a species, we are hardwired to explore, to seek out answers, to find patterns where none might exist. We yearn for stories, for narratives that make sense of the world around us. And what could be more intriguing than a tale of shape-shifting reptilian beings secretly controlling our world? On a deeper level, the reptiloid theory taps into our primal fears and prejudices. It plays upon the fear of the other, the unknown, the different. It's a modern manifestation of age-old xenophobia, wrapped in a cloak of science fiction and internet lore. Finally, the theory provides a sense of belonging, a community for those who feel marginalized or unheard. For some, subscribing to such a belief might be an act of defiance, a way to reject mainstream narratives and assert their individuality. We must remember though that the persistence of a belief does not equate to its validity. While the reptiloid theory continues to thrive in certain corners of the internet, it remains unsupported by any credible scientific evidence. So while reptiloids might not be real, the fascination with them certainly is. And as long as we humans continue to seek out answers, to find solace in stories, 
and to grapple with our fears, such theories are likely to persist. Because in the end, they say more about us than about the existence of any supposed reptilian overlords.